Welcome back to one of three news first edition on this Tuesday morning. Uh, smooth sailing out at SPID. No fog, but we do have some fog inland. Uh, not seeing it here on the south side of Corpus Christi. 76 degrees right now. Dew point 76. Feels like 76. Humidity 100%. Dense fog advisory once again inland. This is in effect until 9 a.m. Similar to what we saw yesterday. Where is the fog right now? It's mainly inland. Not as widespread as what it was yesterday morning at the current moment, but there is a one mile visibility right now in Alice. We had a quarter of a mile visibility up in Beeville. Uh, the sensor failed on me there, but uh, most of the area not seeing that fog right now, uh, but there is some patchy fog in the forecast over the next several hours. Those temperatures and dew point temperatures pretty much the exact same. So temperatures mid to upper 70s, dew point temperatures the same mid to upper 70s across South Texas right now. Winds relatively lighter out of the southeast at about five miles an hour. These wind speeds pick up throughout the day. So by the afternoon and the evening, we're talking about breezy south southeast winds 15 to 20 miles an hour with gusts as high as about 25 to 30 later on this afternoon and this evening. High temperatures today, upper 80s, low 90s. Heat index values not quite as high as what they were yesterday. Still hot mid to upper 90s on the heat index, uh, just not as hot because we won't have as much sun as what we saw yesterday. You see that on our satellite radar, a lot of clouds pushing on in from the south, a weak disturbance pushing through south Texas, some light shower activity west of Brownsville. May see an isolated shower uh, today, but most of the area is going to remain dry, but we're going to have mainly cloudy skies expected throughout your Tuesday. Cold front expected to uh, impact us tomorrow. Right now moving through Utah and Arizona. This is going to push eastward throughout the day today making it to far west Texas late tonight. This is 830 to the cold front moving through the Lubbock area. Some isolated showers and storms, some severe weather possible in west Texas from San Angelo up to, uh, just off to the west of DFW and up towards Oklahoma. This is overnight tonight, so about 1:30 a.m. You see a uh, line of showers and storms. This pushes towards the I-35 corridor early tomorrow morning. Then it approaches us as we get towards the late morning and into the early afternoon of tomorrow. The best chance of rain with this front is going to be north of Corpus Christi Bay. If you're in our southern viewing area, mainly dry, but some scattered showers possible when this front moves through. By the afternoon hours tomorrow, we're talking about mainly sunny skies, breezy northwest winds. And that's that big change we're talking about. Much drier air and a lot less humidity expected tomorrow evening. Severe weather today, level three out of five enhanced risk off into North Texas, two and one further off to the south. Tomorrow, severe weather chances north of Refugio and Rockport. We'll watch that carefully, a one out of five on the severe weather scale. Tomorrow's cold fronts, well, we're talking about it late after or late morning into the early afternoon. Lows Wednesday in the mid 70s, lows Thursday in the upper 50s and a big drop in humidity and towards the end of the week looking pretty nice. Lots of sunshine, lows in the upper 50s, low or high temperatures, not dropping a whole lot, but still low to mid 80s with low humidity. That is going to feel very nice headed into Halloween weekend. Barbie.